Hey everyone, today we're going to look at an abandoned train. I was here about five years ago recording this, and I will link that in the description if you want to see it. This is a snowmobile trail with an abandoned train along it. Look at this, new railings. They were pretty rotten before. These are seasonal train tracks. You don't even notice them, the snow is so deep. Train is closed during the winter months and open to skiers, hikers, snowmobilers. Looks like the groomer just came by because it looks so perfect, the trail. Yeah, you can see the hikers marks over on the side. It's kind of the where most of the hikers are. Well, it looks like there might be someone down there looking at it. Yeah, this place can't come here in the summertime when the train tracks are active because the train company gets mad if you're walking along their tracks in this area. But they really don't care during the winter time. I think those are skiers. I see their poles. But that's the abandoned train down there. I don't have a tripod with me. I'm trying to hold the camera as sturdy. Yeah, that was a group of skiers. It's much better to walk on the side here. It's more packed. Better for walking. And here's like an interchange. That's a cross-country ski trail, snowmobile there. And down here. Oh, my trail's gone. The nice pack trail. Still a ton of footprints here from hikers. And there's the train. I can't remember. There's either four or five passenger cars, a broken down hopper, and a bunch of rail machinery. Super cold. Today did not make it out of the single digits. Looks like terrible news. Looks like the train company boarded it up and painted it black, but people graffitied it immediately. Well, at least I have my old video of inside, but I bet there's somewhere pried off the thing. We'll look around. Right here is a flatbed car rotted out in the top. They actually got rid of a few things here. The real machinery, it's gone. Yep, see that they painted it black so it probably wouldn't look like an eyesore when their scenic train comes by here in the summer. Because I remember being on that scenic train. The driver speeds up to go by this fast because like they don't want people seeing it, I guess. Because it encourages people to come out and possibly get hurt on it. That door looks like it's kicked open. Yeah, it does. Definitely kicked open. Broken door here. Oh, wow. Hey, I guess they weren't trying to keep people out. They just wanted to appear boarded up, it looks like. So the passengers on their trains don't come down to see it. Let's get exploring. If you know the location of this place to protect it from further vandalism and people getting hurt on it, please do not comment where this is. Okay, now this is awesome. Look at the old light fixtures. These cars look like they're probably from the 40s. Somewhere way back. Real strong luggage racks. We got like two feet of snow on the roof, as you saw. Really strong. There might be some asbestos mixed in with that. That's what that kind of looks like to me. So don't want to touch that. Also a bunch of black mold attached to it. Look at this. Years of elements. The seats aren't that bad. Look at that. These are the kind of seats, they're kind of seized. If I was to push this, it would move over, 
so you'd have a seat facing the other seat. Do any of them move? Does not look like it. Let's continue on our way. Back there, I don't think they actually locked the door. Like I said, somebody kicked it open. Because they are not trying to make people stay out. They want it to, like a fake appearance, to keep people out, it looks like. They want people to think they can't get into it. That is cool. Look at that. That's glass. Like one time this opened up, or maybe with skylights. That's definitely some... Is that glass? No. It's just an optical illusion. Yeah. Just an optical illusion. It's just a hole. See this? You got the heaters underneath the seats. Probably back in those days, the engine probably just pushed steam through the systems. Real old switch box. Yes. Do any of them move anymore? Yep, some of them still move. That is really cool how they had these fuse boxes back then. I know there's some fuses in here somewhere from last time. Okay, walking up. Oh, this is wide open. Wide open. This is kind of cool how this switch would have worked seat for maybe the conductor to sit on. Look at those old switches there. Really awesome. Oh, this is, might be the one we saw five years ago. This one actually is operable. Yeah, see that. Yeah, that is nice. It still works. After all this time. Pretty cool. Two more cars, so yeah, there's four of them. And they get nicer as you go along. Nice concrete floor. This one looks really stable. It's actually a lot warmer in here than what you're seeing outside. Keeping the wind off me, it's windy out. And it's single digits. Such a nice place. Maybe there's some special lever or something that... Got a drain. I'm assuming that used to be the low spot, but it's kind of the high spot now that the concrete's kind of settling down around the suspension. Oh, we got a toilet in here. Yep. Got a vent. Really dark. Light fixture. Some beehives. Back then, the toilet went right down to the street and by the skid marks. It looks like people have been using it. I don't know if there used to be a collection tank under there, but back in th this, these days, I think they just let it go right through. A lot of stolen stuff in there. That one's broken. It won't even, those two won't even turn off. One more car. Oh, they removed the old hopper. There used to be a hopper down at the end. Looks like somebody was having a little fire in here. That's a burnt log. 
But I think there's a second toilet too. Wow, this is really rusted out here. Looking right down to the suspension. Last time it was just flaking away, but obviously people have just kicked it out. But the middle is where the beams are really strong. Wow, that is so cool how that's flaking away. Kind of remi reminds me of bullet marks, the way the paint would start flaking after it gets shot. All these cars are slightly different. Look at the bowing roof there from the weight of the snow. Maybe the snow didn't do that. That's probably years in the making. It's all warped. Gonna switch hands with my camera. It's absolutely freezing even though I have gloves on. Cause I'm not really moving a lot. Ton of cigarette butts in here. People hang out in here smoking. I love how these cars are all bright colors back then. Look at this, the bright orange seats. One of the cars was bright blue inside. Look at that. Concrete's rotting out there. Got a hole right through. And look at the tiles. Those might even be as best as tiles back in these days. Possibly. Some vents, I assume probably for summer ventilation, because that was heated from underneath the seats on those registers, probably powered by steam, that's what I would assume. I think somebody was just in here. There's no way that did not freeze in this kind of weather. I'm absolutely freezing at single digits. Somebody must have just been in here. Yeah, let's see the snow kicked. I think somebody was just here. Probably here for a while, because look, they had a whole six pack of them. The next bathroom. That's got to be a cast iron toilet, because people would have smashed those. I think they're cast iron, ceramic coated, like old tubs and appliances. Someone kicked the bottom out here. Is this, is this a cute... No, that's the back of a fuse box. Really tight bathroom. No plumbing involved. Just goes right through to the tracks. No sinks to wash your hands. Nothing. Awesome. This is nice, too. Yeah, it's still sturdy in the middle. It's got to watch your step. This is sturdy, too. That's the switch box we were seeing in the bathroom. Really cool and vintage. That's cool too. The breaker box has a light inside so you can see what you're doing. Can't even read that panel plate. Got a light up here. Emergency brake. Yeah, this is the thing that would run through the car. You'd have a rope going through the cars, and if someone got up and pulled it, it would stop the train. Look at this big brake here. See how they painted all this to try to make it look better. Maybe, maybe they didn't board it up to try to make it look like it's not accessible. Maybe they did it so you can't see all the graffiti inside it. Because that looks like a real eyesore when you're driving by it. But why leave it out here? Why not scrap it if they're so worried? They had a tree fell down on the roof. Could that be what caused it to bow? Let's hop out and see. Look at this, we got the gate. Does that still move? Yeah, it kind of does. That's so they block it off when they're moving so no one falls off the back. If this is the back of the train at that given time. Hop on down. I'll walk through it a final time in a minute. Oh, you can't see it because it's so much snow. But there's lights up on the top there. So if this is the back of the train, they'd shine red. Or if the engine's pushing it, I guess they could work as headlights. Really awesome. Let's look inside their 
Is this electrical or? That's the brake line here. Maybe it was powered by steam in those days. Yep, that's all their electrical. So many prongs for different controls. So I'm gonna open up. Oh, yep, just a little frozen. A lot of them. Yeah, the stairs are broken and smashed off this one. Still got a ton of brake pad left. I think I remember there being dates on these at some point. They seem higher up than they used to be. Like they scrapped a bunch of garbage off them. I gotta go back and look at my old videos. Cause I thought there was tanks or something there. Don't remember being that much space. More stairs broken off. Don't want to trust the remaining ones. Unless they're... I test them first. I don't think the trees are what caused that. Those are tiny little trees that just snapped in the heavy wet snow. No more skiers or snow mobilers. One thing is it's just so freezing out. And it's the evening of a weekday. Not too many people around. Yeah, this side looks awesome where it's not boarded up. All the snow's deep. I want to back up and get an angle without it all boarded up. Yeah, that's great. Can you make out what that says up there? It says something royal. Ooh, some crooked bushes here. Let's hop back aboard. Before it starts getting too dark out. Really nice looking train. Is this still functional? Nope, this won't lift up, not functional. But it is strong. Yep, still strong enough to haul me. I'm just gonna crawl up top. having a party in here. Is this squishy? Yeah, it is. All right, that's it for today. Maybe come back someday in the future. Maybe not. Since they painted it to try to make it look nicer, I doubt they're going to be moving it anytime soon, although they got rid of the rest of it. I think the train company should just scrap the thing, because it's beyond repair to fix it up. Although that that is what they do. This is way beyond repair, but their train company, the Scenic Train, their rail cars are all really old. I think they have, most of them are from the 50s because they buy them from other train companies and they fix them up for the vintage appeal of going on a ride in one. Oh, that is still functional. That's amazing. The other ones are all broken. Yeah, this was never boarded shut. There's no new bolts or anything on there. They didn't, they didn't try to secure this like I originally thought. They just wanted it to look nice. That's all it was. They just didn't want 
people seeing all the graffiti all over the place. Uh, still got a brake wheel there that nobody stole. I believe last time I was here I even got up on the roof somewhere to look around. Not happening today. Thanks for watching.